Hello YouTube, today I want to show you how to how how to use this app called Swipe Up Utility. Um, it's saved me a lot of messing about. It is a shortcuts app, so once this is installed and set up, I'll show you how it works. Um, I'll show you how I see it now that I have set it up, and then I'll show you how to set it up. So by pressing and holding the home screen button, you see a panel, so you've got, got a red panel, and then two apps. That's the service. That is that that is the swipe up utility. So let's go ahead and set it up. It's because it's a shortcut app, you see. So first of all, very first step is once you've opened it after installation, choose choose action. It scans all the list of apps on your phone. They've even provided some um actions too quick search voice search recent apps that kind of thing shortcuts they're good too some of them sometimes anyway that doesn't seem to be working that bit they're usually all right though toggle wi-fi donate some of these are pro features some of these are um free features so the donates donate suggests that it's paid but regardless of that I've made it work so I'm going to show you the app that I have put I'll show you why there was two icons the ones that are blue so one that says text to speech anywhere and the one that says tiny apps or teeny apps whichever you want to say um, that I've displayed in the previous video it's like the floating windows and the overlays and things um, they are in the app. So if I do that, I've singular pressed it and pressed save. Saved one item. Now press and hold, it shows one app. And that's it. But that is because I've unselected this, so I can show you how to add more. For example, if I... You just press it. It should. It should make, it should make you long press it, but I'm not so sure. Let me just check that. Yeah. So if you want to put just one app, then you just single press it, like I just did. Or, where's it gone? Oh, it's here. Or if you want to press, yeah, it says, it says at the top here, uh, add it. Long press to select multiple. So it means if you want more than one, like I did before, so back down to tiny apps, wherever it was. There it is. So you long press, select one, painted it blue. And then you can single tap the rest then, once you've long pressed the first one. Don't forget to save it. Save in the top right corner. Because I've, when I first tried this, um, I didn't save it. And it took me ages to work out why it wasn't working. But it was simply because I hadn't saved it. So now it should show you. It's like that, look. There you go. Then on top of that, you can customise it. Now this is a thing I need to show you as well. Um, it will ask you, once you, if you long press the home button, it will give you some options. So it might, it won't, it might not have text to speech there it might do if you've got that up uh, but you would press swipe up utility and press always and then press ok if it gives you that message then it displays it and that's it but you can choose your colour and so you can go colour and you can go like blue or something like that and icon size just put it down a little bit like that See, it's different, and I like this app, it's very good. 72, see what that looks like. That's fairly good, yes. I don't know whether to put it up to 80 again though. See that, yeah, that's better. Yeah, and you can change the colour. I think I like blue better than the red actually. Make, make it a bit less light though. A bit lighter, I should say. That's it. Do that. That looks good. 
and you can reset it back to how it was which I'm not going to do because it will take me ages to set up again but you know and then it gives you the number of times that it's kept you away from Google now which I'm not greatly fond of of Google now um, sometimes I might use the microphone within apps to type um, and that's good but I've used the, uh, this app 110 times it says oh look it's 111 now make sure to keep the app up to date that's what I'm going to say because you'll get new features and yeah I really like it and I have added teeny apps which and this um, text to speech app at the moment so when I'm in so I can do this press and hold press teeny apps and then get the floating windows but I've displayed these in a previous video so don't get too uh, wound up about that but you can do any you can do any app as long as it's within your phone um, or SD card wherever you store it but yeah yeah it's very good I like it let me know what you think anyway um, thanks for watching take care goodbye